What do you think of my background? It's kind of cute, isn't it? Uh, I got it from a fabric store. It's supposed to be uh, panels that you put into dresses, but uh, I was going to turn it into massive bows, but then I just didn't get around to it, so it's been in my stash. So that's my background. It's your boy John of JJ Shimori and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you my way of turning Nagual feathers or Nagori or whatever they're called into these cut feathers which have got nice perfectly straight edges. Now this technique is probably a technique that other people do, I don't know. This is just the way I find is the easiest way to get nice perfectly straight feathers. Now before we jump into the video, um, thank you to everybody if you have donated to my Godchildren's fundraiser for their school. The link to that will be in the description box below. Thank you to everybody that's done so far and um, they're still fundraising so if you are in a position to be able to donate to their fundraiser, please check that out in the description box below. If you're new here, hi I'm John, welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining us on this millinery adventure of Jade Witch Millinery on YouTube. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't and hit that notification bell as well to be notified when I put videos out in future. Always on Wednesdays, unless I miss a week, but yeah. Don't forget to stay till the end to hear about my fitness update, which I'll be putting out every video from now on. Um, so look forward to that at the end. But enough of me chatting, let's crack on with this video. Before you cut your feathers, you probably want to go to block your, whatever you're going to put it on. Now I have picked this. Um, this is the press a bit from my saucer block and I have covered it in an off cut of some, like a, pale yellow neon parasizal so I have that and I have stiffened it but um, what so this is ready to go for the next section but yeah do this first and then we'll move on to the next and then you can move on to the next one because then it'll dry by the time your feathers are finished well, I've already gone ahead and done all my feathers but I am going to show you how I get my feathers like this so I have one re ready to go just this is a regular cork feather. I know it's not. So this is a regular nagua, nagori, whatever, however you pronounce it. And then I have this like tape. It's a bit like painter's tape. It's got like a, um, or a washi tape. It's got like a, it's sticky on one side and it's very like waxy on the other. So I, how I do mine is I, and if you'd have seen my live, on Instagram yesterday you would have seen that. Lay the feather down. Well, first of all, actually, is just play with your feather to make sure like all the kinks and the creases are out. And then lay it on. That needs to be a bit more straight than that. So you lay it on and you just brush it down so it's nice and smooth. And at this point, what I would suggest doing before you go ahead and start cutting everything is take a couple of feathers and just cut them into the, find a shape that you want and then you know which is the way you're going to be cutting it because then you know the best feathers to use. Sometimes they're a bit too fluffy at the bottom which are not suitable for everything. But mine, um, as you can see, I've cut mine like this so that extra fluff at the bottom is fine it doesn't matter how far up it comes i'm cutting most of it away anyway so figure out what you're doing with your feather first and then you can go ahead and start cutting all your feathers out and then to get a really nice sharp line that's why i'm doing it this way and then i'm just going to cut away the shape that i wanted I'm just going to take this off the back. And then just remove the bottom part of the feather. 
a bit like making an arrow goose quill, really. Now mine are a little bit slimmer than this. So um, doing it this way does waste a lot of this. So if you are trying to be sustainable, this is maybe not the correct way to cut feathers. Uh, I'm just gonna just make that a little bit skinnier. Right, there we go. As you can see, I've literally just taken off that amount. Um, but now it just looks a little bit more thinner. Then what I do is I take a, so this is a Spectra, a Kent Spectra alcohol marker. And as you can see here, it's got this white line where I've removed the feather. I'm just going to go over that with the alcohol marker. Not the way down, because I'm going to cut this bit away at the end. Now, if you get the closest colour that you can, I, I mean, I have a set of these, so, um, and it only has like one, like royal blue one in it, so it's a little dark, but that's fine. Um, if it is slightly different, if it's the shade is a slight different shade and it's a bit of noticeable, just go through and just cover the whole of the quill. Uh, then it looks like it's supposed to be like that. And there you go. You have, I think that's the light flashing off there, but one covered feather. Um, and then you leave that to dry. And then when it's dry, this bit at the end where it doesn't really have any filling, I cut this away so you can see the whites, as you can see there. So I go back with my marker and I just touch the end. So now it all matches. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do one more with a close-up so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so that's the first round done. Um, I kind of like how it's looking. It needs a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, it needs a little bit of adjusting every now and then, but I think a lot of this will be hidden by the next round. So I think that that shouldn't be an issue. We'll see how the next lot goes. 
And then what I'm going to do before um, I go with the next one is just trim all these to roughly the same size. So that looks like it's the shortest. So I'm just going to trim all of these, even though we've, we've already coloured the end in. These are going everywhere. Right. And they all look the same. <coughs> right, so I'm going to go now again around and add like another layer of feathers. I'm not sure how this is going to look, but hopefully it will look good. So, wish me luck. Okay, so this is as far as I've got to, um, and it's looking rather fabulous. So, what I think I'm going to do is make, put some, like, so instead of doing, like, another layer here, I'm just going to do, like, another, like, run some, some here, and see how that works because I've got bits here where um, like a little mark here so these will just help cover that and I just think it'll just add like an extra I don't know unless I do it that way what does that look like hold on let's see if I do it like this No. no, they definitely need to be like that. Oh, how did I realise I would have saved my statement ones? Hmm. Okay, so let me just get my statement ones. So there, one, two, three, and so one. Two, three, so I want to try and get three of each. Right, so I could just put like a random one, like nine here. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah. And there she is. It wasn't necessarily how I turned, wanted it to turn out in the beginning. I kind of wanted it like like a whirlwind of feathers going around. But um, yeah, it, it still turned out really nice. Now there are a couple of marks I've noticed where the um, where I'd, I'd initially used a little bit of glue. So yeah, I might need to add some something just here. I do have these. Swarovski pearls which I may add just to give like something else um, but nothing else nothing else ab apart from this and I don't think I, I mentioned in the video but each of the 
feathers have a tiny, what size are they? Size SS6 crystal at the top, just to give like, you know, a little bit of a sparkle. So, so yeah, this technique is necessarily unique, but I do find it's perfect for getting them really nice straight edges if you're not very steady with your hands. I'm not. Uh, I have tried to cut feathers without any assistance and it never looks straight. I mean, I mean, this is me, nothing is ever straight, but yeah. Uh, but it's turned out really nice. Like it's not, like I said, not what I envisioned, but it still turned out really nice. One other thing I'm thinking of doing is just taking the um, alcohol markers and especially on the darker feathers, like the blue and the red, just had adding a little bit of the ink just to where the where the thread is holding the feather into place so because you can see them so I'm thinking maybe I should just you know just put a tiny bit of ink just so it saturates that and just blends in a little bit nicer but there you go that's what she is this week Thank you very much to Reggie, who is my ongoing Patreon supporter. Thank you so much for your um, ongoing patron. And thanks for increasing your, your uh, patronage as well. It's, I did notice that. Look out for a message from me soon. If you want to help with Patreon and help fund the running of this channel to enable me to test things out, do things, see things, try things, show you things um, then feel free to check out patreon in the description box below and don't forget if you're not if you're not comfortable with patreon then that's fine i do also have merch so i'm wearing my merch today like i am in most of my videos my ab crystal hall merch because as we all know i am a fan of aerial crystals and we need to reclaim the word hall as people that love something very much so but I also have my AB Crystal Queen merch as well for those that don't want to walk around with the word hot on their chest. So thank you very much. This has been a lot of fun. Um, I am working on my linings video as I've been promised for ages. It's just not working out the way I was planning. So I'm scrapping the, that idea for now, but I will revisit that soon. I have some very uh, good videos coming out, so look out for those. Um, make sure you follow me on all my social media, it's linked in the description box below. And yeah, I will see you next week. So, thank you very much for watching, I have been John, you have been great, I will see you later, bye. Right, so for everybody uh, who gets this far, thank you very much for watching, I have now got um, four weeks under my belt, four times a week, which means I can buy myself a hat block. So let me know in the comments down below which hat block you think I should buy. I'm not sure what I want, so suggestions are wanted, please. The next goal is four times a week minimum for 10 weeks. And I will then invest in a set of flower making tools so then I can teach myself flower making so let me know in the comments down below any suggestions of hat blocks that you think I should get um, and I look forward to hearing from what you th what you think bye